This crossover recipe is an unusual interpretation of the stuffed bell pepper with ground beef. Don't be alarmed about steaming to replace baking and stuff the ground beef raw by skipping the sauteing step. As I always want to experiment with unique cooking methods, quashing the traditional boundaries to think out of the box. I use the Cantonese stuffed vegetable method with a tad of Western elements, Worcestershire sauce, cheese topping, and finish it by broiling it in the oven. So as it turns out, it is a happy ending. Absolutely delicious. You got the best of both worlds from the east and west. So let's get into the details right away. Let's start by cutting the ingredients we need in this recipe. Costly chop some garlic. And of course we need some ginger, just about one inch. Garlic and ginger usually works hand in hand in Chinese cooking. We also need some onion. We are going to saute the onions with the garlic and ginger later. Soak the dry shiitake mushroom with hot water and wait until it is fully hydrated. Then squeeze out the water and cut it into small dice. Now the bell pepper. You can use any color. I have green and red today for better presentation. You can cut off the top and stuff the whole bell pepper or cut it into half just like what I'm doing. I find that cutting into half is more suitable for steaming. Make sure you remove all the seeds and the peas. Next, the scallions. Cut it into small rings. You'll notice that scallions, ginger and garlic are all the important elements for Chinese cooking. So in this recipe, I'm not going to saute the ground beef. Instead, I'm going to stuff the raw ground beef into the bell pepper and steam it just like many other Chinese cooking. But it is good to saute the garlic, ginger and onion to bring out the flavor. Once it is done, let it cool and now we move on to prepare the stuffing. The main ingredient for the stuffings are ground beef and mushrooms. Add the sauté ginger, garlic, and onion to the ground beef. If you don't have dry shiitake mushroom, I suggest using button mushroom, which is a good alternative with a different mouthfeel. Also include the scallion. Then we season it with some salt, some ground white pepper, Oyster sauce, which is regularly used in Chinese cooking. And Worcestershire sauce, which is not traditional, but it goes well with oyster and light soy sauce. And yeah, a bit of light soy sauce. Then we mix everything together to form a meat paste. I'm using the traditional Chinese method. First, squeeze and mix. After that, leave up the meat paste and throw it back to the bowl. This throwing method is one of the fastest way to disintegrate the meat and turn it into a meat paste. A bit of water, it helps to bind everything together. And yes, we also need some cornstarch so that all the ingredients will bind together and will not fall apart. And some tomato paste. Yeah, you know that it always goes well with ground beef. Mix well and yep, now it turns into a sticky paste and now we can use it as a stuffing for the bell pepper. Stuff the meat paste into the bell pepper and make sure that it fills up all the crevices as you know that the internal of the bell pepper is not even. Press the stuffing with a metal spoon is a good way to make sure it fills up all the space inside the bell pepper. Let's move on to steam the bell peppers. Set up a steaming section. 
Steam the bell pepper over medium heat for about 15 minutes. Once it is done, remove it and you will notice that uh, there are a lot of liquid released from the stuffed bell pepper. This is the extract of the beef and the mushrooms and it is a waste to throw away, so I decided to turn it into a gravy. Collect all the liquid released after steaming and pour it into a small pot. Bring it to a boil and concentrate the liquid by boiling it for a few minutes. Add half a teaspoon of dark soy sauce to darken the color. And subsequently, mix 1 tablespoon of cornstarch with 2 tablespoons of cold water to form a slurry. And then pour it into the pot, stir well to form a gravy. After the taste test, it is salty enough. If not, you can add some salt at this point of time. Now it comes to the final step by adding some cheese as the topping. Arrange the bell peppers on a baking tray. Cover the stuffing with shredded cheese of your choice. And place the bell peppers on the uppermost rack in the oven. Turn on only the upper heating elements to broil it at 230 degrees Celsius or 445 degrees Fahrenheit for about 5 minutes or until the cheese melted and turns slightly brown. Spoon the sauce that we just made into a plate and place the bell pepper on it. Garnish with some freshly chopped garlic and serve. After showing you how to prepare my stuffed bell pepper with ground beef. If you like this recipe, I've included it in the description right below the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and tap the notification bell. I will notify you whenever there's any new recipe uploaded. Thanks for watching. My name is KB Kwan. And I'll see you in some other video very soon. Bye for now.